Okay, we're talking about bar members or attorneys. This is video number two in the series. And so let's get going. And this video should be viewed after the bar members one video, the bankster thieves one, two, and three video, the bankrupt corporate so called governments video, churchianity, de facto courts video, quasi contracts, and Roman civil law. We're all under martial law rule, corruption in the courts three and four, and peace officers and law enforcement officers videos. Um, <clears throat> so, this is a U.S. Supreme Court case. The practice of law cannot be licensed by any state. The practice of law is an occupation of common right. Uh, bar members have a certificate only. The certificate from the state Supreme Court only authorized the practice law in the courts as a member of the state judicial branch of government. Uh, bar members can only represent wards of the court, infants, persons of unsound mind, uh, C. Corpus Juris Secundum, Volume 7, Section 4, and uh, it's also uh, talked about at length in the bar members uh, video number 1. Uh, certificate is not a license to practice law as an occupation nor do business as a law firm. The state bar card is not a license. It is a union dues card. The bar is a professional association like the Actors Union, Painters Union, etc. No other association, even doctors, issue their own license. All are issued by the state. It is a non-governmental private association. The state bar is an unconstitutional monopoly. <clears throat> Attorneys uh, have an illegal and are an illegal and criminal enterprise. Violates Article 2, Section 1, Separation of Powers Clause in the U.S. Constitution. There is no power or authority for joining legislative, judicial, executive branches within a state as the bar is attempting. Bar members have invaded all branches of government and are attempting to control de jure governments as agency uh, agents of a foreign entity. <clears throat> the American Bar is an offshoot from the London Lawyers Guild and was established by people with invasive monopoli <clears throat> monopolistic goals in mind. In 1909, they incorporated this treasonous group in the state of Illinois and had the state legislature, which was under the control of lawyers, pass an unconstitutional law that only members of this powerful union of lawyers called the ABA uh, could practice law and hold all key positions in law enforcement and the making of laws. At that time, Illinois became an outlaw state, and for all practical purposes, they seceded from the United States of America. The Bar Association then sent organizers to all other states and explained to lawyers there was much more, how much more profitable and secure it would be for them as lawyers to join this union and be protected by its bylaws and canons. They issued to the lawyers in each state a charter from the Illinois organization. California joined in 1927, and a few reluctant states and their lawyers waited until the 1930s to join when the Treasonous Act became de facto and the citizens became captives. Under this system, the lawyers could guarantee prejudged decisions for the privileged class against the lower class. This was all made possible by the American Bar Association to favor the right and have unlawfully substituted them in place of constitutional laws. The Constitution was written in plain English, and the statutes passed by Congress were also in plain English, with the intent of Congress how each law should be used and not the opinions of various judges as the codes list. Any normal person can read the Constitution and statutes and understand them without any trouble. The people of California were shocked to learn that the state government has no control or jurisdiction over the Bar Association or its members. The state does not accredit the law schools or hold bar examinations. They do not issue state licenses to lawyers. The Bar Association accredits all law schools, holds their private examinations, and selects the students they will accept in their organization and issues them so-called license but keeps the fees for themselves. The Bar is, only, is the only one that can punish or disbar a lawyer. They also select the lawyers they consider qualified for judgeships and various other offices in the state. Only the Bar Association or their designated committees can remove any of these lawyers from public office. The state legislature will not change this system as they are also a designated committee of the Bar. On August 21, 1984, Rose Byrd, Chief Justice of the California Supreme Court, another of the Bar Association Judicial Committees uh, uh, stated in essence um, that the Bar should determine the legality of all initiatives before they were allowed to go on the ballot. This is contrary to both state and federal constitutions, as well as the laws of this nation instituted by and for the people as a sovereign unity of independent states of we the people, and not a for 
fraudulent corporate entity of lawyers. This is a tremendous amount of power for a private union that is incorporated and headquartered in Illinois to hold over the citizens of California or any other state. The only recourse is through this initiative process and vote by the people. After the Founding Fathers had formed a constitution outlining the laws as to the way our government was to be run, Thomas Jefferson said, in essence, this proves that plain people have given the chance can enact laws and run a government as well as or better than royalty in the blue blood of Europe. The uh, American people must stop thinking that lawyers are better than they are and can do a better job than they can before the courts of America. Under the common law and the laws of America, nowhere is it expressly given to anyone to have the power or right to form a corporation. Corporations are given birth because of ignorance on the part of the American people and are operating under implied consent and power which they have usurped and otherwise stolen from the people. By right and law, they have no power, authority, or jurisdiction and must be put out of business by the good citizens of America in their fight for freedom. The U.S. Constitution guarantees to every state this, in this union a Republican form of government. Any other form of government is forbidden. No public officer or branch of government can be limited to a ruling class of any kind or states become the aristocracies and not republics. Also, the lawyers have made themselves first-class citizens where any public offices and branches of government are open to lawyers only. All other people are limited to only two branches of government, to only certain offices, and those two branches of government make it all people who are non-lawyers into second-class subject citizens. When the courts belong to the people, as the United States Constitution requires, we the people will never rule against themselves. In these unconstitutional foreign tribunals, courts which are hoodlum centers, uh, uh, men in black dresses that are unconstitutional robes of nobility, dispense a perverted ideology where the people are terrorized by members of the black robe cult, um, which are lawyers and lawyer judges in the courtroom. The legislative branches of government does not have a constitutional power to issue court orders or any other kind of orders to the people as a fiction court or a court corporation for profit and gain cannot reach parity with a lawful man. Only presidents and governors have constitutional power to grant pardons, but lawyer and lawyer judges are unconstitutionally granting pardons with immunity from prosecution. Citizens are not permitted to act like people in the courts. <clears throat> the citizen is told that he does not ha um, know how to fill out fancy lawyer forms, that he's not trained in the law, he does not know court rules and procedures. In fact, they make the rules and procedures more, way more complicated than they need to because they, they intend to, to uh, make it difficult to understand right off the bat. Uh, this unconstitutional lawyer system only hearsay substitute lawyers not under oath have access to the fiction for profit and gain courts even though only sworn testimony and evidence can be presented in court. Anything else is a bill of attainder not permitted under the U.S. Constitution. The U.S. Constitution does not give anyone the right uh, to a lawyer or the counsel or the right to counsel or the right to any other hearsay substitute. Um, the Sixth Amendment is very specific that the accused only has the right to assistance of counsel and this assistance of counsel can be anyone the accused chooses without limitation. Lawyers and lawyer judges created unconstitutional lawyer system pre-trial motions and hearings to have e eternal extortionistic litigations which is barratry and also in violation of the U.S. Constitutional and Article 1, in this place is defendants in double jeopardy a hundred times over. Defendants only have a right to a trial, not trials. When a, defend when a criminal is freed on a technicality, he is freed because of a fix and a payoff, as a defendant can only be freed if innocent by a jury, not by any technicality. Whenever a lawyer is involved in a case directly or indirectly as a litigant or assisting in counsel, all lawyer judges have to disqualify themselves as there cannot be a constitutional trial and also there would be a violation of the conflict of interest laws along with the violation of separation of powers and checks and balances because officers of the court are on both sides of the bench. These same lawyer judges are awarding or approving lawyer fees directly and indirectly amounting to billions of dollars annually, all in violation of conflict of interest laws. As long as there are lawyers, there will never be any law, constitution, or justice. There will only be mob rule, ruled by a mob of lawyers. Con case law is unconstitutional as case law is enacted by judicial branch of government, 
when a lawyer judge instructs, directs, or gives orders to a jury, the judge, uh, lawyer judge is tampering with the jury. He also tampers with testimony when he orders the answers to be either yes or no. Uh, lawyer judge also tampers, fixes, and rigs the trial when he orders anything stricken from the record or when he rules certain evidence and the truth to be inadmissible. This makes the trial and transcript fixed and rigged because the jury does not hear the real truth and all the facts. Juries are made into puppets by the lawyer and lawyer judges. All lawyers are automatically in the judicial branch of government as they have an unconstitutional title of nobility, officer of the court. Citizens have to be elected or hired to be in any branch of government, Not, but non-lawyer citizens are limited to only two or three of the three branches of government. Lawyers as first-class citizens can be hired or elected to any of the three branches of government. Lawyers or officers of the court in the judicial branch are unconstitutionally in two branches of government at the same time whenever they are hired or elected by the executive or legislative branches. This is a violation of the separation of powers, checks and balances, and the conflict of interest laws. District attorneys and state attorneys have taken over the grand juries from the people where the people are denied access to the grand juries when they attempt to present evidence of crimes committed in the courtrooms by the lawyers and lawyer judges. The U.S. Constitution, being the supreme fundamental law, is not and cannot be ambiguous as to be interpreted or it would be a worthless piece of paper where we'd have millions of interpretations, unconstitutional, which are unconstitutional amendments, instead of the few we have now. That is why all judges and public servants are sworn to support the Constitution, not interpret it. Under international orders, all lawyers, whether they left law school yesterday or 50 years ago, are exactly the same. All lawyers have to, have to file the same motions and follow the same procedures in using the same unconstitutional lawyer system. In probate, the lawyers place themselves on everyone's will on a state. When there are minor children as heirs, the lawyer judges appoint a lawyer for each child, and at times the, the lawyer fees exceed the total amount of the estate. An outrageous amount of tax money is directly and indirectly stolen by lawyers, money that is budgeted to city, county, borough boards, School boards and other local and federal agencies eventually finds its way into pockets of lawyers as all of these agencies are tricked and forced into eternal extortionistic litigation. In the state of Alaska and Hawaii, the Bar Association has mandated that all judges are to be licensed to practice law. This license required is found not in any other state in the union as all licenses to practice law in the state of Alaska and Hawaii are issued by a judge. What judge is qualified to issue a license to practice law to another judge? As only members of the bar may be licensed to practice law, Alaska and Hawaii judges are required to be members of the bar, and as such, they are prejudi uh, prejudiced to do business, do the business of the bar. If a judge is required to be a member of the bar, who disqualifies the judge from office if that judge does not pay dues or violates the rules of the bar? Texas statutes require judges to be bar members, and federal statutes require judges to be bar members. All state legislatures and Congress are controlled by bar members, either as members or indirectly as counsel to the members. Obama is a bar member. Ends of court. This is taken from Black's Law Dictionary, 5th edition. There are certain private unincorporated associations in the nature of collegiate houses located in London and invested with the exclusive privilege of calling men to the bar. Uh, there's an American Inns of Court Foundation. Every state has local Inns of Court chapters. Uh, this is their website. Uh, if you look there, it says that their, their main office is in Alexandria, Virginia. Nice, conveniently close to, to, uh, to D.C. Downtown London is walled in approximately one to two square, mi uh, square miles. This is the city of London. This is where Inns of Court is located. Imperial Parliament buildings are located in the City of London. The City of London is never conquered by William the Conqueror. The City of London has several gates, one of which is called Temple Bar. The only true law schools uh, in the world are in the City of London. And a true law school, a true law, is 800 years of jury trial decisions, which is decisions by we the people. Ends of Court is one of those law schools. The City of London is foreign territory to the rest of England. During the convening of the Imperial Parliament, the Queen gives the throne speech. The Queen goes to Temple Bar and requests to permission to enter the foreign territory. The Lord Mayor grants permission. The Queen then walks two steps behind the Lord Mayor with her head bowed while she's in the City of London. And it's interesting to note that the Lord Mayor leaves a, a, a hostage so that uh, they have to, because they technically don't have to give the Queen up. She's in foreign territory. They can hold her ransom 
so they leave a hostage just so that uh, they, they, uh, as ransom for the queen when, when she's done. This is concessions to the Eng of England to Pope 1213. Look it up. Do a search on the internet. It says we will establish a perpetual obligation and concession will establish that the proper and special revenues of our aforesaid kingdoms for all the service and customs which we ought to render to them saving in all things a penny of St. Peter, the Roman church shall receive yearly a thousand marks sterling. So they, pay, they agreed to pay tribute to the Vatican. Uh, after the concessions of England to the Pope in 1213 was signed, King John had to make money to pay tribute. King John imposed martial law rule and started to do things to raise money to pay his tribute. It took only two years for the people to figure out what was happening, and the Magna Carta was the result. This is a Canadian court case, Perlman v. Pichet, uh, found at Four Dominion Law Reports, page 147. The Magna Carta is not a unilateral act emanating solely from the spontaneous will of the king, as the charters of the predecessors of John, neither is it a treaty, for we cannot say it was concluded between two legitimate and independent sovereignties, nor between two nations, nor is it a law. The barons do not appear in it as subjects, for they are freed from their promise of fidelity, and the king brought captive, placed before them, submitted to the conditions which the conquerors imposed upon him. Magna Carta is therefore a contract, but resembles a treaty concluded between two nations, in that one of the parties, in virtue of the law of war, can impose its will upon the other. So essentially what they did is they took a sword, they stuck it to the king's throat, and they said, here, king, we want you to sign this, or we'll run you through right now. And so obviously he signed it. Uh, uh, the Crown is a corporation that is domiciled in the City of London. The Crown is owned and operated by the Vatican. The Crown that belongs to the Queen has ER superimposed over it. Stands for Elizabeth Regina. All members of the bar are foreign agents of the Crown. And the Crown is owned and operated by the Vatican. This is a true Article 13 an amendment to the Constitution for the United States of America. The underlying portion says that if any citizen of the United States shall accept, claim, receive, or retain any title of nobility or honor from any foreign power, this, uh, such person shall cease to be a citizen of the United States and shall be incapable of holding any office of trust or profit under them or either of them. And it's interesting to note that under them is the federal government, either of them is the state government. That's how they talked about it. Anyways... Uh, bar members uh, is, uh, office, uh, is an office of trust. Uh, an office of trust is one that requires an oath of office. An office of profit is one that's paid. Uh, the War of 1812 was initiated by, by the Crown to eliminate the true Article 13 and Amendment. One of the major engagements was when the British burned the Capitol and the National Archives. The National Archives would have been where the ratification records would have been kept. All bar members have a title of nobility. All bar members have a special privilege or honor from a foreign power. All bar members have an emolument from a foreign power. Uh, this is taken from Bouvier's Law Dictionary, 1856 edition. Title, persons, title are distinctions by which a person is known. The Constitution of the United States forbids the tyrant by the United States or any state of any title of nobility. Titles are bestowed on courtesy on certain officers. The President of the United States sometimes receives the title of Excellency. Judges and members of Congress, that of Honorable. Members of the Bar and Justices of the Peace are called Esquires. An emolument is the lawful gain or profit which arises from an office. Esquire is the title by courtesy to officers of almost every description, to members of the Bar and others. And England is the title next to that above a gentleman and below a knight. Uh, in, 18, in 1950, the 81st Congress investigated the Lawyers Guild to determine that a bar association by definition is founded and run by communists. Thus, by uh, any elected official that is a member of the bar will only be loyal to the bar entity and never have allegiance to the people. All bar members have renounced their U.S. citizenship as contemplated by the Founding Fathers, pursuant to the true Article 13 Amendment, and in fact, these bar members have have, have criminally converted citizenship in America into the opposite of what the Founding Fathers intended, and we're going to talk about that in a minute. Bar members represent you in court. They have no authority to. Bar members make legal determinations for you. If you hire an attorney, you're saying you're not competent. If you hire an attorney, you're making yourself a ward of the court. If you hire an attorney, you're saying you're an imbecile. The right to be represented exists only in military courts. This is found at Title 10, United States Code, Section 838A1. The accused has the right to be represented in his defense before a general or special court martial and investigation under Section 832 of this title, as provided in this subsection. Uh, uh, they cannot put you in jail unless you have an attorney representing you. When you're hiring, a, when you hire an attorney, you volunteer to go to jail. Almost all judges are bar members. This is Title 28, United States Code, Section 631. No individual may be appointed 
or reappointed to certain to serve as a magistrate judge under this chapter unless he's been at least five years a member in good standing at the bar. Canada Judges Act, no person is eligible to be appointed judge of a superior court in any province unless in addition to other requirements prescribed by law that uh, person is a barrister or advocate at least 10 years standing at the bar of any province. A municipal court of record is presided over by one or more judges. The governing body shall appoint ordinance appoint by its municipal judges. A municipal judge must be a resident of the state, a citizen of the United States, a D.C. citizen, a licensed attorney, and have two or more years of experience practicing law in this state. And uh, in this state is, a, um, is, is basically federal areas of Texas. To qualify for an appointment as an associate judge in this chapter, a person must be a resident and be licensed to practice law in this state. Again, federal areas of Texas. Uh, bar members have infiltrated our courts and are not found in every organization in the country at the highest levels of government. Obama is a bar member. The leader of a major corporation is either a bar member or they surround themselves with bar members. Bar members have criminally converted citizenship into what the opposite of what the Founding Fathers intended. And this is Colgate versus Harvey, U.S. Supreme Court. And while the 14th Amendment does not create national citizenship, it has the effect of making that citizenship paramount and dominant instead of derivative and dependent upon state citizenship. So subsequent to the 14th Amendment, it was paramount and dominant, whereas previous it was derivative and dependent upon state citizenship. Um, the... Uh, um, the uh, United States versus Rhodes. It says the amendment reversed and annulled the original policy of the Constitution. It, it criminally converted it into the opposite of what it was intended. U.S. versus Anthony. The term resident and citizen of the United States has distinguished from citizen of one of the several states in that the former, the U.S. citizen, is a special class of citizen created by Congress. Bar members have converted a U.S. citizen into a slave. The, the privileges and immunities of citizens of the United States do not necessarily include all the rights protected by the first eight amendments uh, of the federal constitution against the powers of the federal government. In other words, U.S. citizens don't have access to the first eight amendments of the constitution um, against the powers of the federal government. Um, the, the term citizen of the United States is analogous to the term subject in the common law. The only absolute and unqualified right of a U.S. citizen is to residence within the territorial boundaries of the United States. Bar members on the Supreme Court are facilitating the murder of millions of our, our unborn children. Uh, this is Roe v. Wade, the celebrated case that is supposed to uh, justify uh, abortions. As used in the 14th Amendment to the United States Constitution, the word person does not include the un, uh, uh, unborn. Uh, bar members have brought us martial law rule. See the uh, We Are Under Martial Law Rule video. Bar members have brought us law enforcement officers to enforce their martial law rule upon us. See the peace officers and law enforcement officers video. Bar members have brought us to the bankruptcy. See the bankrupt corporate so-called governments video. Bar, bra members have brought us color of law. See the color of law video. Bra, bar members have brought us unidroit. Kangaroo courts, Roman civil laws found in the dang, kangaroo courts, the de facto courts video, and the quasi-contracts in Roman civil law video, and the unidroit video. Bar members have brought us ecclesiastical courts that are owned and operated by the Satanic Vatican and are not interested in justice as described in the Vatican Courts video. Um, uh, bar members work together with the Bankster Thieves in the Vatican as found in the Bankster Thieves video, the Bankster Thieves 2 video, and the Bankster Thieves 3 video, the Churchianity video, the Churchianity the Vatican video, the bankrupt corporate so-called governments video, the de facto courts video, and the corruption in the courts three and four videos. These can these de facto kangaroo United Nations courts make sure they get it convicted so they can get make business for their bankster owner and operate prisons. These de facto kangaroo United Nations so-called courts have a conviction rate that is over 97%, and if you do not plea bargain it, they throw the book at you because it makes more business for their bar member buddies and their so-called court of appeals. They want a plea bargain because that is not subject to appeal. Again, this is all coming from bar members. The crimes of bar members are two numbers to list. Bar members have converted our nation from a Christian nation that it was intended to be into a nation of hedonists and devil worshippers as found in the Churchianity video. They've taken God out of our schools and our courts. The number one export of the United States is entertainment. When other people call the United States the great Satan, they are 100% correct. 
Bar members are priests of Baal operating on instructions from their satanic Vatican. See the Churchianity video and the Churchianity the Vatican video. Also, uh, all so-called court cases are actually satanic religious ceremonies run by priests of Baal. Is there any wonder why Christ had such a complete and utter contempt for the attorneys of his day? Um, there's other videos that you might want to uh, watch that uh, will help you understand some of the stuff that's in these ones. Um, the uh, the bankrupt corporate government so-called video, the bankster thieves videos, the uh, we're under martial law of rule video, the de facto courts video, the bar members one video, the quasi contracts and Roman civil law video, United Nations clerks masquerading as judges in Canada video, the Canada border pigs video. Um, there's uh, upcoming videos. There's uh, Vatican courts video. All, all de facto courts are Vatican courts. The U.S. government is the District of Columbia, Churchianity, the Vatican, uh, uh, Bankster Thieves 3. Uh, that one's already uh, uh, out there. Unidroit's already out there. Uh, United Nations citizens are District of Columbia citizens and are slave corporations. And the District of Columbia border pigs. And I'm, I'm kind of torn between calling that U.S. border pigs and D.C. border pigs. They're all really D.C. border pigs, but... Uh, so I'll probably call it U.S. Border, border Pigs and then start off telling them they're D.C. Border Pigs. But anyway, so um, uh, if uh, you want to know anything more about it, I have a private group called Administrating Your Public Servants at Yahoo and Google. I've uploaded a bunch of files. It's all free, uh, uh, but you have to uh, request to join. I've, um, um, I've got uh, uh, these videos are available for free. The download videos on, on YouTube, you can download them for free. Circulate them around, please. Uh, uh, share them with your friends. That's the way we, uh, the only way that anything's going to change is it has to become a general knowledge of, of, of what's going on and, and how it's happening uh, uh, so that we can defeat this stuff because otherwise nothing's going to change. These, uh, these uh, bar members are now uh, uh, working with the bankster thieves trying to orchestrate World War III with the giant commercial transaction. And so, you know, I think that it's only going to get worse. So, uh, again, if they come up with some reason why they take them down from YouTube, if you have it downloaded it, then, uh, then you'll have no trouble uh, 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 getting it and circulating it around. And so um, uh, if you uh, send me, contact me at engineerwin at gmail.com. Um, I have uh, uh, DVDs that are available for a donation, um, and or if you want to donate to support the cause, uh, it's certainly appreciated. Um, and uh, so, uh, you know, that's also available too. Uh, uh, the, uh, I don't have all the videos that are uploaded to YouTube. I've uh, only got certain ones, and so, but there's 150 that are there, so uh, you can certainly uh, get a lot of information off of YouTube. Uh, but if you want all of them, I mean, uh, send me, a, uh, contact me at engineerwin at gmail.com, and, uh, and I'll tell you how you can make a donation. Um, I prefer gold or silver coin, but as an extremely less desirable alternative, I'll accept the IOUs that the bankster thieves produce. Uh, um, anyways, uh, but that's all negotiable. Um, anyways, um, I hope you have a real great day, and I appreciate you taking the time to listen, and please circulate this around, and... Uh, and have a happy new year.